Kerouac writes some very wonderful uh, lines about how, uh, uh, you know, Robert Frank is the only person he's ever seen who could, you know, be driving with one hand, you know, looking around and photographing out the window with his other hand. Robert hat hier gewohnt, seine Eltern beisammen. Er war so ungefähr 19 Jahre alt, hat sich dann irgendwie weiter ausbilden wollen und ist auf die Idee gekommen, Fotograf zu werden. Wir hatten den Vater gekannt, er hat uns den Jungen gebracht und dann war das natürlich so, dass wir ihn im Atelier ihn aufgenommen haben. Er hat, hat sicher sehr viel innerlich durchgemacht als junger Mensch und äh, hat äh, sich einfach etablieren wollen in dieser Welt. Sie auf jeden Fall wollte er weg aus der Schweiz, weil sie war ihm zu eng. Das ist sicher. Er hatte das Gefühl gehabt, er müsse sich äh, befreien. Und weg auch von der Familie und weg auch von, von, von dem ganzen... Land, das, das ihm eigentlich zu wenig geboten hat. I didn't want to be part of the smallness of Switzerland. I didn't want the restitutions of the life that my parents had, their concerns about money and respectability and all. I took up photography as a first little step to get out of the orbit that they prescribed for me. Brooklyn Bridge into Manhattan and diving into this huge sea of skyscraper and it's, it's one of the most uh, fascinating feeling. It's very, in a way, melodramatic. Reading Frank's letter he sent to his parents in Zurich in, in Switzerland when he came over here made me realize that, you know, we were almost in the same age, like when, when he came here, when I came over here, out of probably different reasons, but then like with the same, same meaning in a way, uh, that it probably is very close what I felt, but uh, another man, from the same town felt like 50 years ago. to see that being a Swiss has a, uh, has a certain advantage in this business and it's about you know, like to, to do some like typical let's say 4th of July uh, parade or picnic somewhere in the in the south where like an American photographer would have like a much more uh, yeah like a different approach because it is a part of his uh, a part of his heritage a part of his country part of like his upbringing where he's probably not that sensitive 
about like somebody who comes here and cannot believe and understand how things work here. March 1947. Dear parents, never have I experienced so much in one week as here. I feel as if I'm in a film. Life here is very different than in Europe. Only the moment counts. Nobody seems to care about what he'll do tomorrow. This country is really a free country. A person can do what he wants. Whether you've been here for eight days or eight years, you're always treated like an American. There's only one thing you should not do, criticizing. Americans are extremely proud of their country. The idea is that Sean really has his job. Uh, I, when I applied for a Guggenheim, mm -hmm. for a stipendium, and um, so habe ich mir gesagt, ich will über, über das Land reisen, ich will mir das mal ansehen, denn bevor, vorher habe ich ja immer gearbeitet als Fashion Photographer oder Ill Ill Illustrative Photographer. So habe ich zwei, drei Reisen gemacht nach uh, Detroit and the, the South to Beaufort. Und so habe ich das Land erlebt, als you know, as European, you know. Shortly after he came back from traveling around this country, he sequenced the photographs um, into a group of images that he then published in his book, The Americans. When it was initially published, certainly in this country, people reacted to it in a very negative way. Um, many of the critics felt that it was not a very positive picture of America that had been presented. And I think that if you remember the kind of images that were popular at that time, those that depicted America, for example, ones in Life magazine, for example, or, or other publications like that, um, they were very, very optimistic, very positive images. And Frank, of course, showed a much darker side uh, to this country. <laughs> Robert Frank had much more uh, introvert, very personal, uh, haunted kind of like way of kind of like it was. It is so much more moody. If you kind of like analyze the Americans, then there's so much crap in the book, you know, in terms of like single images, you know. But the whole book as itself is like the most amazing poetic collection of images. They need each other. To, to make sense in a way. One state told this reporter that he was seated in his automobile after just closing the grocery store. The colored man walked up to the window of his car, stuck... And then the whole enormous country sort of coming in my eyes. It was a tremendous experience, and I worked, but it came naturally to show what I felt seeing those faces, these people, the kind of hidden violence. I speak of the things that are there, anywhere and everywhere, easily found, not easily selected. Well, Pull My Daisy was made uh, by Robert Frank and Alfred Leslie, the painter, in 1959. And it's really Robert Frank's first film. And the film is based on a unpublished play by Jack Kerouac called The Beat Generation. And in some ways, it really uh, captures the spirit of, of uh, the Beat Generation and what's going on in New York uh, during the 1950s. So what takes place is uh, a kind of confrontation, visual confrontation between um, a very uh, kind of philosophical bishop uh, 
who's Swiss, and uh, a, uh, a group of poets who are uh, completely Im improvisational in their spirit. Holy, Byzantine holy, mock holy, is American flag holy, is girl holy, is your sister holy? What is holy? Holy, 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 holy. It was uh, in the late 70s, really, when he rented a, a room in Bleecker Street. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Pretty baby, you are the one who snaps my control. And it's kind of this confrontation between, uh, you know, the photographer and real life. And what Robert makes out of it is, a, I think, a very uh, wonderful uh, kind of series of juxtapositions in which you know, he's kind of questioning the validity of his own uh, sight, his ability with a camera to look at uh, the outside world and then interpret it uh, from the inside. I moved away from the single image and begin to film. The films I've made are the map of my journey through all this living. I want you to see the shadow of life and death flickering on that screen. June asked me, why do you make these pictures? Because I am alive. Frank moved to Nova Scotia in the early 1970s. Frank had um, become, by that point, quite well known. And I think he wanted to get out of the New York City environment. And in Nova Scotia, he found a very different world from New York. In fact, uh, the complete opposite. Around here, it's, they're known as Robert and June, and you know, it's not the artist or the photographer, it's just Robert and neighbor. June. <laughs> kind of a neighbor, yeah. I guess. He uh, used one shot of you guys yeah. in the catalog, I think. And then uh, I was on that video of the cow, the cow being butchered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he did use local people around. Charlie Joe was supposed to be in one of his pictures. I never saw yeah, that. It was all an interesting scene. But, there was different people from around. Yeah. Used Johnny and uh, Norman and, and Dougie. <laughs> His life um, since 1970 has been filled with, with many tragedies. Um, but one of the ways that he has dealt with them is in his art and expressing um, the pain and the loneliness that he has felt as a result of these tragedies um, in, his, in his photographs. He'll frequently write on top of the photographs in order to more clearly express his reactions, his feelings, his thoughts at the time. I have a picture here that uh, Robert took of my father, similar to the one in the book. It's uh, done with a, I suppose, a, I'm not sure what uh, kind of a camera it is. It must be something to like a Polaroid or something. And uh, it's faded. It almost looks aged or uh, it's been kicking around the house since a while. Of course, it looks a little reduced, isn't it? Well, this is the poster up in front of his house, isn't it? To me, he was just yeah. recording, you know, what people oh, were doing, what what was happening around them. And somehow, Robert Frank became known as a famous artist because he was taking real life and putting it in picture. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's... He was captured. If it's as simple as that or not, but to me, that's what it was. That's what he was doing. Yeah. Captured, Capturing captured life. Or... Life as it was. Yeah. Simple as that. I don't know. I am making souvenirs. I'm making memory because that is what I know. That is hopefully an expression of my true feeling. Tell my own story. Mm -hmm. 